Member for Narrakan. <clears throat> Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And I raise a matter for the Minister for Agriculture in the other place. And the action I seek relates to the enormous spike in illegal protest activity in forest harvesting coops. So I respectfully request that the Minister herself intervene in this issue by ensuring that these that the full force of the law is applied in every circumstance when dealing with these anarchists. This must include fines for breaching coronavirus directions, as well as on-the-spot on, on fines for breaching a safe work zone. I understand that the on-the-spot fines are re reinforced by a clause that prohibits a protester from returning to the same site once issued with a penalty notice. If they do return, they are deemed to be in contempt of court. These penalties have to be applied in the, to their full extent. It is so unfair for timber workers to be subjected to the harassment, intimidation and the frustration caused by these anarchists. The harvesting contractors and their workers are deprived of income, their safety is compromised, their machinery tampered with by ferals who arrive on site, masks and deliberately baiting the forest workers. If this type of protest activity occurred on a city-based building site, the police would have had them gone in less than three hours. In the event of a forest protest, to get search and rescue to dismantle a tree sit can take five days and in one instance recently it took 11 days. It is totally unacceptable for these forest workers and their families to be deprived of income for this length of time. In many cases the same contractor has been targeted and been subjected to multiple shutdowns due to these ferals. Most of these contractors were involved in the firefighting effort which seriously hampered their timber production, significantly reducing their income. But as always they put their community before themselves. Many of them were stood down after the fires because there were no coops for them to return to due to the interference of the Greens and illegal protester activity. When will these hard-working timber families be treated with some essence of dignity? They have done nothing wrong and yet they are carrying the full force and full impact of unlawful, unlawful activity. It is having a massive impact on the mental health of forest workers. They have been abandoned by the Andrews government who refuse to stand up for what is right. Minister Symes must step up and take responsibility. If that means getting support from Cabinet colleagues, the Premier must ensure this happens.